Hey guys, welcome back to the channel guys. Today we will show you how to remove and replace secondary air pump on Mercedes W163. This will be the ML class from 1998 all the way until 5 I think. Stay with us guys, please subscribe, let's grow that channel together, thank you for your support and let's go ahead and start on it now. Okay guys, so to, now we are going to show you how to remove the secondary air pump. Uh, you don't have to get the air box out of the way, we did, we're doing some other repairs, check it out guys, we have quite a few repairs on the channel, you can see everything's apart now, here transmissions everything you can think of lights fans so okay so you don't have to take anything apart just the top uh, the top cover of the engine right here and now you need to use a reverse reverse torx okay like this one it's called e10 okay let me get you a good view okay that's what it looks like so uh we'll need to go ahead remove that bolt there Okay, like that. Yes, two ground wires for it, so don't re don't forget to install those when you are ready. And then uh, on the bottom there is nothing else. We we'll need to remove the wire here. Okay, and uh, this one you press in here and pull out. Okay, like that. So pump is out now. Okay, and this one will be stuck there. So we need to get that piece out first somehow we need to we need to just pry it a little bit uh you see because it's stuck a little bit uh for some reason okay we're almost getting it what you can actually do you can go ahead and disconnect the pump right here if you need to uh, from the holes okay Okay, it just came off. So that's what it needs to be. Uh, you can see that's how that's how it goes. Okay, like that in an angle. So now we're going to disconnect the pump right here. You can see where the, the hose goes to the intake. So it just needs to pull out of there. Careful not to damage this one. Okay, that one there. Okay, like that guys. And this is secondary air pump right here. You see, not very complicated procedure at all. Sometimes they will go bad. You won't pass the emission test uh, because if that doesn't work when your car is cold, it's polluting too much. Okay guys, so uh, you just put it back together the same way we took it apart in reverse order. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Let's grow the channel together and see you next time.